filter in the query data so in this example uh, in the, we have taken already one example in the three params here so we are reading three parametric values per, as param1 param2 and the, the param3 here so these values the param1 and then we are reading param2 uh, we are reading param2 and then we are reading the param3 request which are coming from the parameters which are then inserted in the form of a verbatim into the page being generated here so usually what happens is nothing but this is necessarily and this is not uh, necessarily safe here since the request parameters might contain some html uh, characters which like uh, uh, less than here so this will disturb the page processing so the safer approach is to filter the it HTML SOSI characters before inserting the values into the, it's very very safe is nothing but to enter the HTML page here before you use some of these things here we, so that we can remove them we can filter them and help our page to load uh, uh, load efficiently on the browser here okay so this is a uh, simple thing in case of the filtering query data here so we'll see an example in real uh, in uh, you know, a demonstration of the uh, an example program how can we remove that filtering how we can filter the query data here and then moving on to further here the very important concept is nothing but http request shutters so this is the effective servlet in understanding to manipulate the http here so we'll see here how we can use this F in, uh, the http so you already know whenever you use the http here you remember it will be in the form of a get and the post request okay so the most important is nothing but we are using an http 1.1 request headers here so when you use this http request headers is nothing but so it indirectly the browser are set immediately following the initial get and the initial the post request line here so in this case when the request this is an url taken example the url is nothing but uh, http www dot some bookstore dot com slash servlet search so this request includes the header such as accept, accept encoding, connection, cookie, host, and the referrer. So this is no matter which URL you are using, every time the request address will be including these things: accept, accept encoding, connection, and the cookie, and the host, and referrer. So these are nothing but which are important operations of the the servlets here. So we'll see this is already displayed here the get the request is in the form of a get request okay so see whatever is coming after the question mark is nothing but the form data and then second thing is nothing but accept so what is accept so you can see here accept is nothing but is showing image slash gif image jpg here so this is nothing but here the acceptance is looking for an mime type here okay so this header specifies the accept specifies the mime type that the browser or the client can handle okay and then next is nothing but the accept encoding so this accept encoding is nothing but the header designates the header designates the types of encoding that the client knows how to handle so whatever the content is there is nothing but that content will be encoded here so sending the content encoding response to the header indicating has done so and next thing is nothing but here is called as a connection so the connection is nothing but the header indicates whether the client can handle the persistent HTTP connections okay and next is nothing but the cookie as you know the cookie is nothing but so here cookie ID is specified ID ID user ID equal to ID four five six seven eight okay it's just an example so this header is used to return cookie to servers that previously sent them to the browsers okay so usually we'll be using we'll be we'll be seeing in later on sections we'll be discussing about more about the cookies here and next thing is nothing but the host so what is the host here the host is nothing but here in http 1.1 browser and other clients are required to specify this header which indicates host and port as given in the original url okay so that is www.somebookstore.com and next is nothing but the referrer so referrer is nothing but this header indicates this header indicates the url of the referring web page so who is referring the web page here url of the referring web page and lastly is nothing but the user agent so this header identifies the browser or other client making the request can be used to return different content to different types of the 
browsers. So here in this case, we are using an example called as Mozilla. So it might be like uh, you might be using an Internet Explorer, uh, Google Chrome, Safari. So any of these browsers. So at every time it takes care of how this the content has to be displayed on the different browsers here. That is the user agent. Okay. So this is all about uh, the form request we are generating here. So already we said is nothing but the request headers will be taking uh, uh, reading the request address from the server is nothing but which takes uh, the reading headers is in the state forward just for the get header method that is the HTTP server request. So it always returns a string if the value is available. If not, then it will return as null here. So example request dot get header connection. So this will return the connection of connection value here. So get header is the general purpose way to read the incoming headers. So it is a general purpose way to read the incoming and the headers here. So like this we are having so many incoming headers are there. So we will see here uh, uh, which are those. The first thing is nothing but here in, in the in get cookies. So this get cookies, get cookies, the get the cookies method returns the content of the cookie header passed and stored in an array here. So whatever is passed and stored which will be returned to the user. So next is get auth type and get remote user. So this is nothing but the authentication, the authorization and the, the remote user methods which will be storing into the form of a component pieces. And the get content length is nothing but here it returns the content length of the header as as as, as return type as int. And get content, content, there is a get content length and get content type is nothing but the get content type method returns the value of the content type header. So that is about the content length, it will, it, it will return the content length and it will return the content type of the header here. Okay. And similarly we are having get header and the get int header which will returns always an integer. So date header is nothing but which, which, which returns the date and int header which returns the integer values. Okay. Get header names are nothing but so you can use the get header names method to get the enumeration of all the header names. So on particularly on particular some particular request will be receiving them and lastly is nothing but the get header in most cases each header name appears only once in the request. So it is appearing only once in the request. So this is all about this request which you are reading from the servlet. So these are nothing but here the get header uh, is a general purpose way to read the incoming headers. Remember get header is nothing but it's a general purpose way to read the incoming headers. So, which uses which which all can be accessed by using the HTTP servlet request here. So, the methods just know what is specified. All these methods, all these methods can be accessed by using uh, the HTTP servlet request here. Okay, request dot get cookie, get cookies, request dot get auth type, request dot get remote user, request dot get content length, request dot get content type, and then get header header get enter get int header get header names and get headers so all those will be in form of a request here so similarly we will take on a simple uh, uh, example in your future uh, demonstration where we will be discuss uh, we will be discussing about how to access the header here so the same thing is in the in the, uh, in the laboratory also we will be having we will be using one of the program which will depend upon the more about the cookies here so moving on to further here now we will be discussing about something called as the status codes so very very important that is the server response so one side we discussed about the client form data now we'll be discussing about what is called as the the server response http status codes so these status codes are nothing but here whenever whenever a client sends a request to the to the server here the servers server sends a uh, the server response back so it will be form uh, it will be in the form of a status line here so what is the status line here we'll see here so example we take here so if you send a request and it is returns on the status line you can see is nothing but it shows an ex the version of the http and 200 is the status code okay that means message is received the content is successful so all these things like similarly we are having different types of status codes are there we'll see them uh, uh, exactly how the status code is uh, is used here okay so some of this content type is nothing but text bar plane and message is nothing but hello world here okay so we'll see here what are the status codes here uh, the http response status line consists of an http version and the status code and associated message 
what exactly the status line is consisting of the status line is consisting of the version the status code and the content type and the message here so these three parametric values are available with the http response status line so usually since the message is directly associated with the status code and http version is determined by the server here so which is set inside the the state uh, inside the status code here so these are the five status codes remember very important so http1 status codes whatever the status code is there between 100 to 199 100 to 199 so the codes in hundreds are in info uh, informational indicating the client should respond with some other actions okay 200 to 299 values is the 200 signify that the request was successful then 300 to 399 the values in the 300s are used for files that have moved and usually include the location header indicating new address 400 and 499 these are nothing but here these are nothing but here the values in the 400s indicate error by the client so usually you come across page 404 no, 404 not found so this is an error and anything which is related with the 500 to 599 is nothing but it signifies error on the server side so just remember 400 to 499 the error by the client 500 to 599 is error by the server 300 to 399 is re re redirected 200 to 299 successful and then 200 to 299 successful and 100 to 199 is nothing but uh, the client has to give some informational indicating client should respond with some other actions okay we will see in detail about these status codes a very uh, please remember these status codes are very important as far as as far as the exam point of view is also concerned so here uh, first we'll see about the 100 the 100 is nothing but continue if the server receives like accept request header with the value of 100 continue it means that the client is asking send the attached document as a follow-up setup that is information what you're sending here 200 is 200 okay is nothing but the status line what you receive is nothing but SE okay means that everything is fine so document either follows the get or the post request 202 accepted so a value of 202 is nothing but it is SE, SE accepted which tells the client that the request is being acted upon but processing is not yet complete 204 not no contained so usually nothing but here uh, the status line is nothing but st stipulates that the browser should continue to display the previous document because no new document is available and then lastly is nothing but 205 reset contained so it means that new document but the browser should reset the document view here okay so 200 is nothing but 200 okay 200 202 accepted 204 no content 205 reset the content and 300 to 399 is nothing but here it is moved permanently it is it is redirected 300 to 399 so 301 is nothing but moved permanently so whenever when you see the status line so 301 is nothing but state indicates that the request is somewhere else and it is moved to that your particular url 302 font so the way it is similar to the 301 here so what it does is nothing but the value is nothing but it's a temporary replacement which will be interpreted as 302 for permanent then 303 c other is nothing but it says see other files so in the status lines like 301 and 302 are similar expect if the original request was post the new document should be retrieved with get here and 304 modified that means sc not modified so in this case is nothing but sc not modified means that cache version is up to date and the client should use it and 307 temporary redirect is nothing but here many many of the browsers erroneously follow the redirection as 302 so either it will be redirected as a get or the post request in the case of 303 response or it will be using get and the post request in the form of a 307 responses here and next is nothing but 400 to 499 so 400 is 400 to 499 is nothing but page not phone so we'll see those different status codes of the 400 here so in case of this 400 here the status code 400 bad request that means sc bad request indicates that the bad syntax 401 unauthorized 401 is unauthorized 
So this signifies that client is trying to access the password protected page without proper identifying or without giving an authorization header. 403 forbidden. So 403 forbidden, forbidden is nothing but here, which means uh, the server refuses to supply the resources. And 404 not found is nothing but here. It tells the client no resource could for, could be found at that address. And 404, uh, 405 method not allowed is nothing but here, where the some of the methods already specified in the request like get, get, post, head, and put, and delete, etc. These are not allowed for the particular resources. And lastly, the 405 in the unsupported media type is nothing but here, which means the request had an attached document of type the server but the server doesn't know how to handle that media okay this is about the 400 to 499 status and lastly the 500 there is nothing but the 400 is involved with the error with the client now the 500 is uh, with the the servers here so what is how what exactly the server here so 500 internal server error so sc internal server error the 500 is nothing but sc underscore internal server error which is generic server which is uh, uh, some of the confused uh, status codes here 501 not implemented so sc 501 sc, uh, SC underscore not implemented status line is nothing but which fulfills the request here which the server the usually further does not fulfill the request here and 503 service unavailable is nothing but here which signifies that server cannot respond because of of some problem that is like maintenance or the overloading and lastly 504 HTTP version not supported is nothing but here code means that the server does not support the version HTTP named in the request line here so this is all about the HTTP response uh, uh, the, sorry the status codes here so remember we are having five statuses so we are having five statuses so status codes are from 100 to 100 199 so that is for indicating some information 200 to 200 to 299 there is nothing but successful the request was successful and 300 to 399 is nothing but for the moving the files or redirecting to some other uh, url 400 to 499 these these are nothing but here for the errors in which indicating the errors by the client and 500 to 599 is nothing but uh, the errors indicated by the, the server here. So that's all for this class. We'll discuss further in the next class. Thank you.